I will teach you how to be rich by Ramit Senti, edition two, not one. And on top of that, this is a non-biased review. Now tell me, if the books are so great because they have great reviews, why did he make a second edition? The answer is every author puts something into a book and then later on says, you know what, I could have made it better. So now he made it a lot better, okay? So that is always welcome when you talk about finance and improving things, you always wanna make them better. So not such a bad thing at all. Now, if you ask me, Tommy, how would you summarize this book in one sentence? The answer is, it's a book on how to become financially free and automate the entire process without having to be extremely frugal and live with your parents in their kitchen until you're like 85 years old. So already, that is a great start. And I have taken some of Ramit courses in the past, and the one thing I can remember about his entire course is basically, you want to keep things simple and don't complicate it just for the sake of complicating it. So again, a great guy, a great book, and on top of that, great courses also. But I don't agree with everything he has to say always. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Tanya Bryson, I'm an accountant, and I upload videos on YouTube every single day. So drop the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, and on top of that, do me a favor and smash that like button, okay? It helps a lot, so thank you guys so much. On top of that, guys, comment down below and let me know what is your favorite book of 2019. Comment down below, let me know. I've read in this year a little bit over 50 books, okay? Because I do these reviews every single Sunday. So again, comment down below and let me know exactly what your favorite book was of 2019, and let me know because I want to read more books before the year is over, so I might read your book and give you guys a shout out here on these videos. Now, the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to this entire book, guys, is that, you know what, Ramit does a great job at giving you guys the fish and at asking you guys to actually go there and fish, okay? Now tell me, what do you mean by this fish analogy? It doesn't make any sense, what are you talking about? Well, the answer is, guys, you know, in a financial book, you shouldn't have to, after you're done reading the book, go out there and do more research. It should tell you everything in this one book. And that's what Ramit does here, okay? He tells you exactly what he invests into, why he does it, and why he doesn't invest into other things. For example, he talks about the banks he uses, the credit card he uses, the investment he actually does, and the brokerages he actually uses, and even the financial advisors he actually has, okay? On top of that, he tells you also, hey, I don't use these people, like Bank of America and Wells Fargo, and here's why. And to me, that is awesome and priceless because some people out there like to complicate things way too much, don't give any concrete examples, and force you to go out there and do your own research. So it's kind of like, why did I buy a book in the first place? But Ramit does a great job at giving you the fish and at asking you to go out there and fish for yourself. Now, if it wasn't Ramit doing this, I wouldn't really trust it because sometimes affiliate marketing can get very sketchy within books, okay? Now, Rami has a legacy of over 10 years in the game doing this financial stuff, okay? So I know he wouldn't risk what he actually accomplished so far by putting in here um, affiliate link into things that he actually doesn't use just for the sake of making money. So I trust Rami, and I know that, for example, he's not going to be doing affiliate marketing just for the sake of doing it. He actually wants to help us because I've taken his course in the past, and I know exactly what he does and how he does it. By the way, I tell you this to make sure that when people tell you, hey, download this or do this or use that, make sure that person is actually trustworthy because sometimes it's all about affiliate marketing and then making money over you actually learning anything. So be careful when it comes to that. For me, it does a great job with it, but most people out there usually are just in it for the money. So be careful when it comes to that. Now, talking about giving you guys the fish and not having you go out there fishing, I want to talk about exactly what this book is about. So number two is FIRE. FIRE stands for Financial Independence Retire Early. Now, if you don't know what that means, I just told you, okay? But basically, guys, in the book, it gives you a solid plan on how to retire early and how to achieve financial independence. Now, in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys all the points he covered right here in less than three minutes or so. In a book that's over, I think, like eight hours long or like six hours long, I think, so, you know, three minutes versus six hours is not that bad if you ask me. So let's talk about it, guys, okay? Now, the first thing is this, guys, okay? A lot of people, when it comes to financial freedom, they make excuses. So basically, you have people that say, hey, you know what? I'm going through a bad stuff. I can't save money. I can't do this. I can't do that. And in reality, those are all called excuses. For example, you know, when I was growing up, I was around seven years old when I realized that we weren't really rich in my house, okay? And I realized that when I went to my friend's house and I saw he lived on a hill, he had his own bedroom, and on top of that, the house was huge and gorgeous, you know? And he had all the video games, which in back in the days, that was the most important financial stature that anyone could have, having all the video game consoles. Now, 
what this showed me was that, hey, you know, I don't even have my own room. And the size of her house is the size of one room, okay, which is insane. And that taught me that basically I had to go out there and hustle. So at the age of seven, I was selling paper planes, paper boats. I was even selling like my own food. When mom would pack my lunch, I would resell that to my kids. Well, the kids that actually were there with me. And I even had my first job. And I was even, I won't admit to this, but for example, I was actually burning movies onto DVDs and selling them at school at the age of 12. So I had to hustle to get to where I am now because I didn't really have that much stuff. So the answer is, guys, everything I'm about to say here, guys, there are no excuses. So whatever life deals you, it deals you it and you play with those cards. So let's talk about it. Now, the first thing he talks about is investing. Now, he talks about exactly what he invests into, how he invests, and why he invests, and who Yes, he invests with and how he rebalances his portfolio. So a lot of detail about every single way he actually does things. Well, you want the fish, you got the fish. On top of that, guys, okay? A second thing here, guys, is basically he tells you whatever tax benefit accounts you have, whether it's a Roth IRA or 401k, make sure you max them out and contribute the max. That way you actually benefit in the long term, which is always welcome. On top of that, he shows you exactly how to do it. And exactly, oh, by the way, don't forget, when you're contributing to these accounts, make sure whatever you're contributing into actually makes sense. Because a lot of the times, those 401A accounts, just rather rate, whatever they invest into, are kind of just keeping your money like this and not going up like this. So make sure you take an eye and look at those accounts and see exactly where they're putting that money into and make sure you're actually putting it into the right place. Now, if you want any recommendation on where to put your money, what 401K to use, what plans to use for retirement, well, Ramit goes into detail in his book about how to do all that stuff which I wanted to check out because I just can't give you like the nugget here because there's a lot of detail in accordance to all your goals and what you want to achieve. So highly recommend you read the entire book to actually find out exactly how it actually works. On top of that, guys, he also goes into examples on how much money you should have per age and what age you actually are now, if you should invest into more stocks and bonds. So he goes into a lot of details with this stuff, okay? Now, now after Rumi talks about investing, how to invest, where to invest, all the details, he talks about debt. And when it comes to debt and repaying debt, he talks about basically the avalanche method. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's paying the card or the credit card with the highest APR first and working yourself down because that way you save money on interest in the long term. On top of that, he wants you to keep a list of what you owe, how you're paying, and your plan and keep track of everything that's going on. And that way you are in track to pay off your debt as fast as possible. And if you can pay off more, then you pay off more and that way you're done with it a lot faster. As long as it is bad debt and not good debt, there is a huge difference when it comes to that. It's another video for another time. Now, the second thing when it comes to debt, guys, is all about you want to check your credit reports and also your credit score. Two different things give you two different types of information, so check that out when you have to. By the way, you can request this stuff for free because it is your rights online. So just search up request my credit reports online on Google and it will pop up and that way you get it for free. Very simple stuff. And lastly, he wants you to renegotiate your APR on your credit cards. Most people don't know you can actually renegotiate that APR of 24%. 35% to a lower rate, depending on your credit score and how you have been doing. So again, he gives you scripts in the book on how to do it. So a very thoughtful book. And that's why I actually like it. Now, after investing, after debt, he talks about credit cards. But Tommy, isn't credit cards the same as debt? No. He talks about how to use your credit card points, how to get credit card points, the best credit cards out there, and how to take advantage of them, and basically how to turn them. So he goes into detail on how to do all this stuff. And how, basically, guys, if you guys don't know, right, if you guys use your points correctly and get your points correctly and get the right credit cards, you can basically travel for free every single year. And he goes into detail about all those little factors in this book, which is always awesome and always welcome. So great job including all those details in the book, Ramit. I really appreciate that for the most people out there. Now, the last thing is that once you want financial freedom, you spoke about investing debt and credit cards, you want to talk about, well, how to raise your income. He gives you a script and how to ask for a raise at your job and also gives you a website to his website, basically, on how to get some side jobs to actually increase your income on the side while you keep your main job if you don't want to quit. Although the fastest way to increase your income is to actually get a certification into something actually higher and just quit your job and go somewhere else. But if you don't want to do that, that's fine. 
just go out there and have a side of business or ask for a raise, which is very common, okay? He gives you a script on how to do that, so don't worry. He will just throw you in the water, be like, oh, just ask for it, and that's about it. No, he tells you exactly how to ask for it, and that's awesome. Now, after talking about how to raise your income, he talks about, well, how to actually go out there and manage your money. Now, managing your money is saving money, keeping a budget, but also not just saving money by, you know, putting money aside, but also saving money when it comes to your expenses and all that fancy stuff. Because again, most of your money escapes through bills and expenses rather than you not just saving money, okay? So he talks about all those details, how to negotiate bills, like your cable bill, your internet bill. So basically, again, he gives you the fish on how to do every single thing. That way you go out there and be better off when it comes to your financial freedom. So now that we spoke about exactly what the book is about, I wanna tell you guys exactly what I got from it, okay? Because that's all it's about, basically. You invest, you pay off your debts, you get your credit cards, you manage your money, and you increase your income. That's basically it. Five things. That's the entire book, okay? Now, that's awesome. But I also want to go over some other details that you got from the book, and I actually want to talk about it here right now. Now, the first thing is, by the way, I tend to talk very fast when I get very excited about something. So I'm going to take proactive methods right now to slow down as I speak, okay? Now, the first thing is this, guys. The main thing I love about this book, guys, basically, when it comes to financial freedom and achieving financial growth, whatever you want to call it, it's all about keeping things simple. And you know, people don't want to do the simple thing because usually the simple thing is boring and not as excited as they want to just win the lottery. For example, people ask me, Tommy, how do I become rich? The answer is always, hey, you invest money or you start a business and you take that risk. Now, if you want to invest money and do it like more passively, it will take you between 20 to 40 years. Like, oh no, that takes too long. Well, it means that you don't want it that bad. And that's the answer, okay? There's a method to actually doing it. If you want to be risky, then you risk it. And if you lose all your money, well, you took that risk and you didn't really have to because if you invest over time, it will always work out according to over 200 years of history, okay? Now, the second thing is this, guys. When it comes to finance, you know, all the proof is in the pudding. Tommy, what do you mean, okay? Well, when Ramit wrote his first edition, I think around 10 years ago, he spoke about exactly his plan and how to execute it. The people that went ahead and complained about certain things about the book and didn't take action, well, they missed out on a whole bunch of gains over the past 10 years when it came to the market, okay? So the answer is always, if you wanna find out something's true, look at the history. And that's something that I did when it came to this book, and the truth is, you gain a lot of money by following this method, not just by 10 years of history, but also 200 years of looking into the market and how everything works. So in totality, guys, my final thoughts are this, okay? This is a great book. It goes into a lot of details about every single aspect of financial freedom and how to get there, including all the little details that you're really curious about, most likely. And to me, Tommy, do you recommend it? The answer is yes. But Tommy, do you recommend every single ounce of information in it? The answer is no. To me, guys, I go into books, right? And I look for the things that actually match what I want to achieve. I take that and I use that and I keep moving. And that's what I expect you guys to do when you guys watch my videos or read any book out there. Read it. Take it for what it is and take what you want from it and use it for your plan. And that's how you become financially free, but also financially active when it comes to your mindset. You just can't follow a plan word for word where your plan might be different. So just make sure you take what you want from it and then use that information to form your own thing. That way you get to your road as fast as you want to or as slow as you want to. Because for example, everything Rami says in this book, I would take it and do like times three. That's how I am, okay? So it depends on who you are and what you want to do. And as always, guys, comment down below and let me know what do you guys think about this book, okay? So far, but it's book review slash little summary. Comment down below, let me know. And again, if you want to read the book, link down below to Audible. You get two free books, including this one and whichever other one you actually want to download. By the way, it can be two different books. Even if you don't want this one, you can get like two other books, which is always awesome. On top of that, if you like this video, guys, like this video, really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so get notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tiny Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch all the book reviews I've done so far, well, watch this video right here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel right now, subscribe to the channel, look at my face right here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, thank you guys for watching and peace.